Fine Tune English Language Institute presents The Power of Light Seniors Project Documental Santo Domingo Church has Roman architecture and is decorated with beautiful paintings which represent the Prize Santo Domingo. These windows were placed in a strategic way and today they help to save artificial light consumption. The sides of the steeples painted in a golden color provide a wonderful sight when combined with sunlight. One of the places where we can observe natural light is the cloister. In 1980, architect José Andrés Flores designed the building with the objective of creating access hallways to the different offices that were there. In this mural, we can see the divinity represented by the sun at the upper part, which illuminates the spiritual features of search of each of the representations, navigators and aborigines. In architecture, skylights are used to reduce the use of electrical energy and make use of natural light in a sustainable way. Depending on the time and artificial light, using LED lamps are present in all the departments of the library, which is a great benefit to those who read and study. Depending on all the candlelight is not used for illuminating the church because it doesn't give a lot of light. Another place where we can see natural light is a corridor that is located inside of the monastery. In 2008, the hospital rehabilitation and reconstruction began taking a total period of four years. San Juan de Dios Convention Center is a well-illuminated place because its upper part is mostly exposed to the sun. In addition, the existence of a big central yard allows the light to distribute itself toward the ground floor and on the first floor through the old-fashioned doors. It was replaced by marble, which is a more durable material. The benefit of sunlight in the Church of San Sebastian is found on the side at the top in small windows on the second floor. It's used on most occasions for soccer practice by the local team Liga Deportiva Universitaria. With reference to the dressing rooms and offices which make up the interior of the stadium, diffuse light can be seen as natural light is reflected. Also, the quality of the glass used in the facade helps diffuse the light not only by its thickness, but also by the opacity caused by the dark tone of the tinted glass. It's important to note that the Bank of Loja is below ground level, and for this reason it is much more difficult for the sunlight to illuminate the basement without artificial light. We can observe lateral light that creates both bright and dark effect. We will detail how natural and artificial light can have a specific benefits. In the case of the gallery, the natural light provides sufficient light into the room and allows visitors to better appreciate the exhibition. This construction was initially a rooming house that has been remodeled with the objective of improving the image, presentation and functionality due to the importance of the institution. They can take advantage of natural light in the morning to speed up the daily paperwork. Sunlight triggers the release of a hormone called serotonin. Dim lighting generates another hormone called melatonin. This hormone is responsible for helping a person feel sleepy and to finally go to sleep. The construction of the church was executed with an utilitarian and aesthetic character that responds to a specific social situation. Human beings have dedicated themselves to using this natural resource to their taste beyond the functional aspect. The openings allow the passage of light, giving a natural sunlight to interior space. At sunset, the sky turns reddish, so that means the building acquires the same color as the sky. At dawn, the same effect happens, but with a different color scale. During the night, natural light is replaced by lamps and bulbs. The Loja Provincia Government Plaza was designed and constructed in order to provide natural sunlight. Another of the benefits are the strategic placements of windows and doors which can be found in certain spaces that are darker. 
In the monastery, the main source of natural light comes from the yard, which provides adequate light. This building does receive a lot of natural light, but it mostly passes over the yard in the middle of the building. Since natural light is a factor that cannot be regulated unless it is blocked by obstacles. The light enters and illuminates only places where there are windows and hallways, allowing you to see where you are walking, but as mentioned before, it does not illuminate the artwork itself. Without the presence of light, visitors will lose the enjoyment of contemplating these paintings. The sun distributes its light to the different rooms that this museum has. The square structure in the roof that permits the free access of sunlight is called a skylight. In the 18th century, the skylight was used for a decoration and permit other adornments like plants and flowers. The cathedral has three doors, which are designed in the form of Roman arc, which offers natural light at the entrance. Walking through the corridor to the left, one can observe eight windows and eleven lamps. The importance of light in the city of Loja, especially in the cathedral church, has a great importance for our lives.